The Boring Company is on the verge of launching a new project in Las Vegas. Contessa Brewer joins us for the first look at the proposal. Hi, Contessa. Hi, Melissa. Good to see you. Yeah, this could be a win-win. Boring in Sin City? Las Vegas would launch a transportation revolution. The Boring Company would get its first fully completed commercial project. Now, the company spent $10 million, you might remember, to roll out a test tunnel in L.A. in December. Proof of concept. It's also proposing projects in L.A., Chicago, Maryland. But Nevada could be the first place to get a loop up and running at a cost of between $35 million and $55 million. Bucks. All right, the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Association is spending $1.4 billion to expand and renovate two miles of conference space. It needs a way to move people more efficiently over 200 acres, a massive campus. Unlike other regions dealing with complex layers of bureaucracy or not-in-my-backyard opponents, the LVCVA board only has to work with Clark County for approval. The CEO sees it as crucial to competing with other cities globally for these mega conferences. We've been the um, top uh, city uh, for trade shows 24 years in a row. Uh, we certainly aim to keep uh, that title. And um, this kind of innovation um, is an attraction in and of itself. The LVCVA board will get a formal recommendation at a meeting next week. If it's approved, as expected, the project could be up and running by the end of next year. City leaders and casino executives, by the way, already excited about the potential to connect the Las Vegas Strip entirely to the airport, maybe even to Los Angeles. When I spoke with Boring Company President Steve Davis, he told me they're hoping that people will be excited to ride this, that they'll like it. And he says the Boring Company just wants to be useful. That's a direct quote, Melissa. Sounds like it's just going to be a tourist attraction, Contessa. I mean, I, but I also think when you have these mega conference spaces, trying to get people from one seminar, one showroom, one exhibit to another becomes really problematic. And Las Vegas is intent on keeping this crown internationally and attracting the, I mean, th this is big business for Las Vegas. And not only that, the idea that you could alleviate some of the congestion in a longer term way for the Las Vegas Strip could mean big bucks to the bottom line of these casinos. I, I understand why it makes sense for Las Vegas. Uh, I, I'm just trying to extrapolate if it would be an example of a project that could then be scalable for, for actual uh, urban areas where they're looking to do some of these things. I mean, it makes sense to see this there because it reminds me a lot of the monorail at Disney World, right? It makes so, perfect sense there. Can it expand beyond that? Well, speaking of monorails, the Las Vegas monorail may push back against this because they were hoping to connect the whole strip. But on that point, they're, the Boring Company is running into problems in Chicago, Maryland, and L.A. with all this complex bureaucracy, and right, they don't believe in, in eminent do, they don't believe in eminent domain, right. and so they have to convince all these landowners to give them permission to tunnel under. Here, there's only one owner. They think if they can get these city officials on the loop and see how efficiently it works, it may be a big selling factor to moving the bureaucracy out of the way. Well, and also a huge marketing opportunity for the boring company right. to say, here's where we can actually get things done and what it looks like, here's what we could do. But you're right, it's, it, it's a different scenario than what they're going to face just about anywhere else. Exactly.